Hi everyone, welcome back for a new week of Let's Play You Don't Know Jack 54. So let's get started. We're at 30 seconds. Donny here at your back and calm. Please fill me in on the number of players, won't you? One little player. Oh well, why don't you enter your name? Why don't you enter your name? Why don't you? Well, I'm not calling you blank. That's ridiculed, Ness. Let's call you Playa. Because you are such a Playa, Playa. Perfect. Allow me to give you the instructionalizations. You'll see a whole slaw of questions, and when you obfuscate the correct answer, press the button next to it. There is a timer that's tick-tockling away. That means the sooner you are to buzz in, the more De Niro you'll make. Or Squeender. We're almost at places. Ten seconds. Bye, Curious. I get a fly check. Six. Well, five. well but let's go to black. Fly, but okay, that works. Taste the memory. Hey there, I'm Cookie, and let's get this over with, or I'm gonna burn my quiche. I think I'll drag this out. You telling me I came all this way for a one-player game? Yes. Come on. No. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Loco Louie's Breakable Party Favors. On sale this week, ceramic water balloons. Find the wrong answer associated with How our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes work? and bonus cash. You can't really inflate them with water. So let's get to it. It'd be just like a jar. Whatever. To get started, bury me with my slide rule. You know how sometimes they rename shows when they put them in syndication like American Idol Rewind? Well, if the HBO series Six Feet Under were repackaged under a different title for syndication, which fresh new title would be accurate? One fathom under, two furlongs under, three cubits under, or four meters under? I believe a fathom is six feet. A fathom is a unit of measurement equal to six feet. Can you fathom that? Huh? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I pretty much phoned that one in. I missed a meeting. We can tell. Next up, Marvelous Jewelry. If the Hulk were a mood ring, how would he be feeling? Violent and angry, stressed and nervous, meditative and philosophical, or calm and neutral? Does they mean how the Hulk feels or what? I'm going to guess they mean what green is for a mood ring. Watch oh, your time! <laughs> The Hulk is green, and so is the neutral uh, color yep, on a I'm mood right. ring. I think he was so angry because the only pants that came in his size were purple. That's a possibility, really. Here we have... You're fired! Now marry me! On which special version of The Apprentice might Donald Trump ask contestants to perform a Trump marriage? The Pinata Apprentice, the Pinochle Apprentice, the Pinochet Apprentice, or the Pinafore Apprentice? You know, I'm pretty sure Trump marriage is a card game, so we play breakable party favors. Pinata. Oh, honestly, a Trump marriage occurs <laughs> in the game of Pinochle. I think Trump's wedding vows sort of went like this. I promise that this is going to be the biggest marriage of all time. Really, just a great, classy, super successful marriage that will tower over and dwarf all the other marriages. And it's really just going to be top-notch all the way. A Trump marriage has nothing to do with a pinata. But guess what you've won? A glass pinata from Loco Louis Breakable Party Favors. Shoes, gloves, goggles, and helmet not included. This wrong answer of the game Did just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. They're, they need to be broken anyway. Everybody quite Trump. Everybody quite Trump. Hey. Say hello to Rich's Brew. And it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven phrases, and for each one, tell me if it's the title of a Miles Davis album, or a t-shirt color at the Gap. If it's a Miles Davis album, press There's one on your keyboard. If it's a Gap t-shirt color, press two. Each one right, I'll trumpet your victory with 300 bucks. Get one wrong, and I'll be charging you 300. And don't overplay this solo. The faster you go, the more cash you'll pick up. Okay, we're off. Mercury Blue. 
Your Miles Dave is good. You're more like Kenny G proficient, but also kind of unlistenable. Only kind of? I hear they're releasing a Miles Davis line of pants at the Gap. They're khakis with a spit valve. I could find a use for those. Just say it. Take a stab at fiery balls of death and other children's stories. You gotta hand it to Buzz Aldrin. Sure, he's walked on the moon, but he's not satisfied. He's now tackled the equally challenging tasks of appearing on Dancing with the Stars and writing a children's book. If Buzz Aldrin wrote a new children's book about a space rock who's fallen through the atmosphere, landed on Earth, and is trying to make new friends, what would it be called? The Adventures of Mikey the Meteor? The Adventures of Mikey the Meteorite? The Adventures of Mikey the Meteoroid? Or The Adventures of Mikey the Mennonite? Once it hits, we call it a meteorite, don't we? While moving through space, yes, it's do. a meteoroid. While entering the Earth's atmosphere, it's a meteor. And when it lands on the Earth, it is a meteorite. Or if you're my great uncle, the Reverend Cookadiah Masterfoot, it would just be called one of God's kidney stones. That's the That's end a of a thought, thrilling first it? round. And you're God in pretty good shape for stones. now. It rains it down upon us. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. Now get out there and make me proud. I call this one Seven Ancient Wonder Breads. Remember going on field trips in school and your mom packed you a miserable lunch in a brown paper bag like it was your ransom or something? Well, imagine you're on a school trip to one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Which of these is a Wonder Bread sandwich being enjoyed at the only wonder of the ancient world that is still standing? A PB&J at the Pyramids of Giza? A bologna and mustard at the Great Wall of China? A mayo sandwich at the Statue of Zeus? Or an olive loaf sandwich at the Lighthouse of Alexandria? Well, the Great Wall is still up there. So. It's a wonder you couldn't see this wrong answer. They can see this wrong answer from space for Ming's sake. I so wanted you to pick this one. The only wonder of the ancient world still standing today are the pyramids of Giza. Oh, ancient world. And the eighth wonder of the world? Why there aren't more bus drivers who ancient. murder children. Ancient. And now, easy as at sign BC. You know, I really feel we gotta milk this Kesha and her ridiculously spelled name for all she slash it's worth. So, what would Kesha's Twitter updates look like if the shift key on her keyboard broke? Ketua loves you all, come party with Kefora, Kasevena is eating lunch, or Kanina is rethinking everything. Yeah, dollar signs both. The dollar sign, an integral part of Kesha's name, is located on the four key of a keyboard. <laughs> What was even more confusing was her post about will being greater than I, which is greater than am. Still trying to figure that one out. Lord and chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Here's one for you. Sock your mom. Hiya, Cal. Oh, no. Not me. Why, it's my good friend Billy O'Brien. What brings you here today, Billy? Well, Cookie, do you like kids' playground chants? Kids' playground chants? I love those, Billy. Great, listen up and you just might learn something, Dunny. Nine nother and your nother were hanging up clothes. Nine nother touched your nother right in the nose. What color was the blood, Plasma? You mean plasma? Yeah, that's what I said. Is it blood red, lemon yellow, asparagus green, or turly white? If I'm not mistaken, plasma is actually yellow. Blood plasma is yellow, so your nether's face is gonna be covered in yellow liquid. Yeah, well, last time I saw your nether. Billy! I mean, her face had this. Billy! Uh, no comment. <laughs> And on its way, nice bra, bra. What does it sound like when a brome hits a brahmin? Sound one. 
Sound two. Sound three. Or sound four. I don't know what a bro is. You're a train wreck. Where's that confounded right answer? A Brahmin is, of course, a type of cow, and a Brom is a classic line of Cadillac cars. Ah, okay. So we've heard a Brom hitting a Brahmin, now the sound of a Brahmin being hit by a Dennis Rodman. I don't think Dennis Rodman came out better on that end. How about, no, no there's no place like a coffin. You know, I love watching The Wizard of Oz whenever they play it on TV, but it's kind of weird now because, except for a few remaining elderly munchkins, just about everybody in the movie is dead now. It's kind of creepy. Which dead cast or crew member from The Wizard of Oz has, according to a famous saying about death, gone somewhere over the Rainbow Bridge? Judy Garland, because she's a woman. The hanging stagehand, because he committed suicide. The mayor of Munchkin City, because he's a little person. Or Toto, because he's a dog. I have never heard over the rainbow bridge used for death. So, I'm gonna go with little person leprechauns. I declare that this answer isn't no. just dead, it's really most sincerely dead. Ah! Here's where the money is. When pets die, they're said to go over the rainbow bridge. Somewhere over the rainbow bridge. I have never heard well, let's that. Let's be honest, we all know that little f***er Toto went straight to hell. <laughs> The flower potty. Okay. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press one. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Names are for the birds. These names are pretty foul. Hope you have a safe flight. Good luck. Okay. Lady with the tramp? Lady with the... For some reason, I read Tramp there. I don't know why. There it is! That was awesome! Oh my god, what a performance! That approach shot on the 18th green was impossible, and then he taps it in for an eagle. Amazing! Oh, I'm sorry, I, I was watching golf on TiVo. Did you finish the game already? Oh, good job. You don't know Jack! Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? Okay, give me a piece if you'd like to engage in another tourniquet of wit. Hi, Anthony Matterhorn here for Blood Code. Oh, Tricot's number one resource for your commercial needs. And right now, we reading. got more blood than we know what to do with. We got in buckets, baggies, pots, and pans. I'll take that. It, it's filled with blood. It's a bloody mess. And I will see code. everyone I mean again next way. week I mean, for more stuff Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. All over the place way. Having and a party, always, need a transfusion, come to Blood Code. We don't ask questions. Need lamb's blood? We probably haven't. We don't really keep track of that sort of thing. Blood Code. We got blood. Why don't you know where it came from? Blood Code. When you need blood, you got to go to Blood Code. Blood Code. Extremely secretive and expensive government research suggests that cats like gum. More on that tonight. Meet Timmy. He's just like you or me. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. The only difference is Timmy doesn't have a mother or father. Timmy's an orphan. 
Hi, I'm Timmy. Uh, Tim. My parents died in a tragic car accident when I was just 42. In retrospect, maybe I wasn't in any condition to drive. Anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables. Except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car. And it'd be great if you had an extra room or a basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmies out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you're ready to start a new-ish family, call the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage. Because grown-ups are children too. It's collapsible, it's expendable, it fits in your pocket, it fits in your mouth. The Omnitool has it all. It's a wood chipper, it's a cat carrier, it's an oven, it's a cradle. It slices through glass and dissolves metal. It's a shovel, it's an ironing board, it's a bug zapper, it's a radon detector. Don't just buy one. It's a tampon, it's a broadcasting tower, it's a war memorial, it's a Spanish dictionary. Replace 10,000 clumsy tools with one Omnitool. It's an air conditioner, it's flattering pants, it's a bomb shelter, it's a healthy alternative to bacon. Plus, the Omnitool is 100% edible and fits comfortably in your pocket. It's a covered wagon, it's the face of God. It's a space helmet, it's a particle accelerator. Operators are standing by. Get yours today. It's a toy. It's a rifle. It's a walrus diaper. It's a lemon zester. Next week on a new episode of Old People Exceeding Expectations. Mr. Tillman, do you need a hand getting to the bathroom? Oh, leave me some shred of dignity. I can use the toilet without your help. You don't need to hold my hand. Oh, okay, great. Scream if you get trapped in there. Yeah. That's next week on Old People Exceeding Expectations. In 2002, a film came out that changed the genre of fantasy suspense forever. Mine, the sunlight, as it dies. A weary sight, a weary eyes. No, witch, you will not weaken me. Salazar, throw me the pendant. That film was Witch's Wheel 2. You probably don't remember the original Witch's Wheel. It was kind of a mess. But the sequel has left audiences wondering what happens next for nearly 10 years. This summer, the wait is over. Chauncey Zeigman presents Witch's Wheel 2. <laughs> 2. The silence of these woods is suspicious. <laughs> Salazar, three elves! Quickly, Warlock, an incantation. Arriba. This July, prepare yourselves for Witch's Wheel 2. 2. The sequel to the sequel. Poor Alice, stuck at home doing chores. Housework sure can be tiring, huh, Alice? But robot maids today can be so expensive. Well, why not try a reformed evil robot from the reformed robot house cleaning company? Oh, sure, these robots used to be programmed to wipe out the human race, but now they're programmed to wipe out grime and mildew. Let's watch. The mop is in the front closet, reformed evil robot. Must kill human. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, must clean bathroom. Good evil 